you are blessed, you are blessed, you are blessed, you are blessed. I thank God for coming your way through Riches of Grace live broadcast from the stream house. I, I, I thank God for coming your way and I believe God this hour if you happen to be watching us now you are blessed and you are going to be blessed more within this few time that we have with you you are blessed once again share with somebody and tell a friend to also tell a friend to join us because it's going to be amazing this hour something extraordinary something glorious something transformative is going to hit your life wherever you are i believe something that you might have been hearing and hearing and hearing over and over again but you never saw the the power and the and the and the greatness of god inside that today you're going to see it and you're going to identify yourself so you have to as i was saying um um this 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 hour you are going to join us and share with somebody tell a friend to also tell a friend and in case you are expecting something extraordinary something is your is is is, is on your heart you want the law to do for you join us and i believe you are you are you are at the right spot at the right place position for a miracle i believe riches of grace is having abundance for you today because as it always stands it's always in christ alone wherever you are joining us tell a friend to also tell a friend tell a brother to tell a brother tell a mother to tell a mother and tell a father to tell a father even your enemy tell them that they should join and be blessed out of this i believe within this few minutes i have with you it's going to be amazing and glorious revelational knowledge is about to hit your life and it's going to cause something extraordinary that has been hidden in you uh, that you've never discovered to burst out of you turn to somebody right beside you and uh, on, on 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 social media who is connected to you just just share it with the person uh notify them and let them know that riches of grace is coming your way and it's going to be a blessing within a few minutes just bump into the spirit and begin to speak 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 in the language of the spirit wherever you might be watching me from now you might be at the sick bay right now uh, and you are watching me no matter the medium the channel through which you are watching i just want you to know it's an encounter hour and it's something that is going to change your life for good and you can never recover from this impact you are going to receive now begin to speak in the language of the spirit ah uh, your true language is not tree it's not ashanti it's not ga it's not away your true language as a child of god is tongue you want to open up your mouth and speak in the language of the spirit like never before don't be ashamed about it ah uh, don't be ashamed about it that is that is who you are that is your reality open up your mouth father i pray and i decree and i declare over anyone watching me now over anyone connected to us now that a life transformative word is about to hit him something that has been going on reoccurring something that has become chronic in their life that they have been seeking for answers that they have not seen all this while through this hour i decree and i declare may there be a extraordinary change may there be a supernatural a sporadic change a supernatural turnaround i pray for you that today with your encounter with riches of grace is going to be extraordinary your life is at the end going to metamorphose to a new dimension in your work with god is going to be so sweet so and
enjoyable and so pleasuring to your life. In your walk with God, you are going to have a new zeal, a new passion like never before. The fire of God is going to be ignited one more time again in your spirit. And I pray that you will also be blessed and bless others with this broadcast. Last week, by the grace of God, we began and we we, 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 we began on the note of, of in, in Christ's realities. That is that is what we began with. And we told you that that that, that the whole Christianity that we talk about each and every now and then, uh, the, the foundation and the and the bedrock of Christianity is the riches of God's grace. Is the riches of God's grace. Is the riches of God's grace. It means that until the believer come to the full understanding of the riches of God's grace, you get to a time in your life, in your walk with God, what will happen is that you will become, you, you, you will be having guilty conscience, you will be having self condemnative kind of mindset, and you will also be condemning yourself when you don't need to. You will be walking in guilty conscience, and whenever a person begins to walk, in guilty conscience and self-condemnation and the sure sign is fear whenever fear also step into your life child of god the devil has gotten a right in your life from today i decree and i declare whatsoever reason the devil had over your life because of your thought and because of your guilty conscience after this hour something extraordinary is going to burst out from your spirit whereby you are not going to be, um, be be subject to the operations of the enemy because of what is going on in your mind. Why? Because you are your mentality is going to shift from that of the flesh to that of the spirit. Am I talking to somebody? Your mentality, your me the, the fabric, the faculty of your mind is going to change. It's going to change. As the Bible says in the book of Timothy, that God has not given up the spirit of fear but of power of love and of sound mind i decree over somebody watching me now that sound mind is going to be your person it's going to be your person at the end of this broadcast you receive clarity in your thought your confusion in your mind will be will be will vanish it will it will disappear and vamoose in the name of jesus so we dealt with in christ and we told you that in christ in christ where we started with is the fact that we said in him we have redemption according to the through his blood and the forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his grace so we told you that the believer has redemption in Christ ah many a times because of lack of understanding we pray God redeem me redeem me redeem me if you have the reality or uh, you understand the reality of God's redemption over your life it's not when car is shaking that you're going to say Jesus Jesus I don't need to be shaking because I know Jesus is already in me and for Jesus to be in me accident is not in my thought it doesn't matter how the car will tumble to think of accident something going to hurt me it's not in my thought why because I know if Jesus cannot be crushed by accident if he is in me then I can't be crushed it's a reality that you have to work with if Jesus can flee from witches and wizards then I don't need to I don't need to be subject to the operations of witches and wizards I don't care to know the caliber of the witch whether from Benin or from wherever i don't care to know why all that i know is that i have come to a point that in christ i have redemption and the next thing that he said that we have redemption through his blood and the next he said that and the forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his grace that means that it's by the riches of god's grace that humanity has received forgiveness ah it's the forgiveness that humanity received from god that christianity became established god God, uh, uh, God through Christ uh, founded his kingdom on earth uh, by forgiving all our sins. Uh, how did he do that? According to the riches of his grace. Uh, so before he said that, he said that in whom we have redemption 
in him we have redemption so we began and we told you that in christ reality is something that you have to understand if you as a believer in your work with god you have not come to a point whereby you don't you 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 have properly understood what we call in christ what it means to be in christ and how you came into christ if you have not understood understood this then it means that your work with god is going to be hazy and it's going to be very very zigzag why because because you are not working in what we call last week epignosis accurate precise knowledge accurate precise exact revealed knowledge of god and philemon made it clear that the communication of your faith become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you ah in christ ah, and also another scripture that we quoted was also um second corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 down and we made it clear he said that if anyone be in christ he is a new creature all things all things have passed away behold all things are now new in christ so we discussed this thing and we told you that there are things that you have to be behold and there are things that you have to know that they are passed away what you have to know that they are passed away is the past no always know yourself in your work with god that the past is past you can't do anything about the past as a matter of fact the best time of your life is now it's not even tomorrow because whatever you do now will determine what happened tomorrow am i talking to somebody so you you only have now and not tomorrow there is nothing like tomorrow have you ever seen tomorrow coming and you, you see tomorrow and you call it tomorrow no anytime tomorrow appear you call it today so the best time of your life somebody is now in your life and 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 the bible says that what you have to focus is not the past throw the past away you have gone through certain kind of series of life you have gone through certain failures of life you have gone through certain kind of weakness in life you have gone through certain challenges and trials confrontation in life child of god hear me today don't let those past hold your life whether good or bad i pray for somebody now i break you from your past i break you from the stronghold of your past in the name of jesus this knowledge you are receiving is doing something in you that from today your past will not rule over your life so paul said behold all things are not new in christ and we told you there are things in christ we have old things that are passed away and we have the new things the new things that are in christ that we ought to behold so when you put the philemon 1 6 and uh, second corinthians chapter 5 verse 15 what you will glean is that the believer is instructed to behold all things that are in christ and the believer is also supposed to acknowledge according to philemon that your faith become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in, in, in christ in you so it means that until you acknowledge and i made it profoundly until the believer come to the point of acknowledgement of all that christ has done in him i tell you that believer's faith that believers walk with god can never be strong can never affect others so you see you are a true believer but men will not be feeling your impact what because you have not received acknowledgement or you've not had acknowledgement uh, of every good thing which is in you in christ after today my prayer and my heart desire for you is that you receive clarity of understanding in your work with god so i told you that paul making that statement he was trying to say that what he was talking about in context what he was talking about was about what christ came to do a man's identification with him so it means that from from verse 15 if you read down he made it clear you read scriptures but i'm just just doing a record so that we can know where we are going to amen so we made it clear that from 15 you he he talked about the statement he made a statement that um he said that and that he died for all that that henceforth that ends for those who live will not live uh, unto themselves but unto him that died for all ah he made it clear then he's talking about christ's death for humanity he died for all then the verse 16 said that henceforth know we no man after the flesh we have known 
Christ after the flesh. But henceforth, know we him no more. We don't know him anymore. That was on that premises that he came in the verse 17 to say that if any man be in Christ, <laughs> ah, after Christ's death, there has become a place, a devil shaking up at after Christ's death. Ah, men are not supposed to be in the temple, in the physical realm. Ah, after Christ's death, men are not supposed to be in a place, but the only place they ought to identify themselves with is, is a place called in Christ. And when a man steps into that place in Christ, ah, that man becomes a new creator. There is nothing like old. And I told you that whatsoever was not uh, was not in your present now whatsoever is not in your present now cannot be ascribed to you so now don't ascribe yourself to yourself according to the details or the things of your family background as a matter of fact when you come into Christ you and your family do not have any 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 boundary uh, I'm, I'm speaking in a quote I'm not saying they are your enemies but what I'm trying to say is that when a child when somebody become born again born again simply means born by the spirit it's not born by the the flesh gets pregnant and he gives birth that is the man you see on the on the on the on the on this earth that is the natural man but there is another man according to Jesus's discourse with 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 Nicodemus uh, Nicodemus John Nicodemus Nicodemus in John chapter 3 Jesus discussed with him Jesus made it clear that you have to know that there is somebody that gives birth that comes out of the spirit jesus is talking about spiritual birth nicodemus is talking about physical birth so he asked certain questions in john chapter 3 like how can a man like me a full grown man like me go into my mother's womb and be born again jesus say you don't understand spirituality jesus even began to laugh at him because at that time nicodemus was a ruler of the jews if it were today we would say nicodemus is is a bishop an archbishop or a prophet having so many pastors under him but jesus told the man hey you are bishop or whatever but you do not understand spiritual things because what i'm talking to you i'm not talking to you in the physical i'm talking about someone being born by the spirit so the verse verse a jesus made verse verse three to five jesus made it clear to him say except a man be born huh, of water and of the spirit he cannot he cannot enter into the kingdom of god so jesus is talking about the reality of his kingdom which is a spiritual kingdom and it's not something you tangible with your hands that you go and touch no it's it's an unseen realm so so nicodemus is communicating in the natural so you see what we are talking about is that there is a spiritual birth and there's a physical birth now when you are born again you will not die again but when you you are born once you die twice ah uh, take this from me any man that is born again will not die again if you are born once by your parents and you are not born again you qualify to die and being born again is being born by the spirit so jesus made it clear that which is born by the spirit is spirit and that which is born by the flesh is flesh so jesus is talking about spiritual birth so born again experience please it's all about spirituality so this is what paul is talking about say that if any man be in christ he's a new creator but before he made the statement he said that we have known christ after the flesh before but henceforth we know him no more i pray for you may you not be assessing your life based on the physical life of christ <laughs> many of us we talk about the miracles the power manifestation and the glorious manifestation that christ manifested ah uh, whilst he walked on the earth but we tend to forget that the reality of what christ came to do was after his death his resurrection was was was, was after his resurrection was where we can
the full proof of what Christ came to do. So he made his statement well, before he died. He said that greater works shall you do. Uh, greater works shall you do. Uh, and in that time, he was about to die. And he was telling them, I'm going to prepare a place for you. That John 14. He was telling them, I'm going to prepare a place for you. When Jesus was saying all this, thing, he was trying to tell them the reality, the reality uh, that they are going to have in him. So today, what I'm going to deal with is the same reality of realities in Christ or in Christ's reality but where we are going to focus much will be Jesus the pleasure of God Jesus is the pleasure of God and I believe ah, before we come to a closure as you share with somebody and keep sticking with us joining us in prayers and with your Bible and following with your heart I tell you you're going to grab something very very tangible within this course in Jesus name so let's read few scriptures Scriptures, then we get into other dimension. Romans chapter 8, verse 1. There is therefore now, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but those who walk after the spirit. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but they walk after the spirit. So it makes it clear that the believer, when you come into Christ, what we call condemnation is not in view. What we call condemnation is not in what? In view. Never must you be condemning yourself. In Christ, there is no reason for condemnation. And he made it clear ah, in the verse 2 that the, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ has made me free from the law of sin and death. That means that in Christ, there is no condemnation. In Christ, there is only one law. The law of the spirit of life. So by the time you are in Christ and you are thinking fear of death, fear of um, 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 certain kind of... No, 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 no. You are not understanding your reality in Christ. He said there is only one law. The law is the spirit of life. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. I pray over your life. From today, you are ruled by the law of the spirit. From today, you are controlled by the, by the law of the spirit. I pray and the law of the spirit breaks every protocol. The law of the spirit breaks every val- ba- barriers. The law of the spirit jumps over obstacle and jumps over um, impediment and stumbling block. I pray for you you live the limitless life this year like never before so there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made them free from the law of sin and death so you see that is one point that uh, you make you think and from tonight and from this day onwards I'll be telling you anytime I come I'll give you until this series is over I'll give you one 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 and very strong one one test of that talks about in Christ or in him through whom or by him so that you understand the focus of this statement so there is no condemnation if you are watching me live you can tell yourself from today i have no dealings with condemnation i have no dealings with guilty conscience i have no dealings no 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 there is no dealings with me so jesus is the pleasure of god jesus is the pleasure of god jesus is the pleasure of God. The pleasure of God is not in your car. The pleasure of God is not in your progress. The pleasure of God is not in your abundance. The pleasure of God is not in the money you have. The pleasure of God is not in your beauty, your handsomeness. The pleasure of God is in one person, Jesus. Jesus was the only and will be the only on the surface of the earth that God could open his mouth to give a bold declaration to say uh, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased listen to him this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased listen to him this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased listen to him and when you read the book of Matthew 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 makes it clear Matthew makes it clear Matthew makes it clear that Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Jesus, Jesus is the pleasure of God uh, when you read the book of 2 Peter 
<laughs> Matthew chapter 3, Matthew chapter 17, and Matthew and Mark chapter 1 verse 11 and second second Peter chapter 2 verse 17 also makes it clear that Jesus is the pleasure of God that will mean that anybody that comes into Christ you become the pleasure of God uh, I'm talking about something that we have been we have been winding and going about over and over and over again. Sometimes we hear it, but we lose focus of it, and we allow the devil to take advantage of our ignorance. The devil does not have power today. The devil has no any is not armed as a as a matter of fact. The Bible says that he disarmed all principalities uh, and he made a public show of them, and he tried triumphs over them openly so the devil does not have power i always say that the devil is fighting uh, with the deceit from his defeat he deceived men with his defeat whenever the devil is doing anything all that he's trying to do is to bring you to a point whereby you are deceived when you believe in his deception then you qualify uh, for him to use you and i pray over your life uh, and i pray over anyone associated related to you that the devil will not have rulership and dominion over you anymore because there is liberty and there is freedom in christ jesus shout i receive shout i manifest so in christ jesus what we we spoke about we said that all these things are in christ all these things are in christ the the new things that we ought to behold they are in christ you may be asking where are these things that you are talking about in christ in christ these new things they are in christ say that if any man be in christ he's a new creature all things are passed away and behold all things are now new in christ who is christ john chapter 1 verse 1 makes it clear in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god ah in the word is life ah and that life became the light of man when it comes to the verse 14 he makes it clear that the word became flesh so christ the incarnate is the reality of the word of god that means that if you want to understand these things that are in Christ, my dearly beloved, uh, if you want to understand and know these things that are in Christ, you have to look into the Word. It's only found in the Word. You want to know where your victory is, it's in the word. You want to know where your glory is, it's in the word. You want to know where your power is, it's in the word. You want to know where your progress is, it's in the word. Ah, when it comes to your walk with God, anything you want to receive from God that comes from God, that emanates from God, it can never be outside the word. Because when we read John chapter 1, he said that all things were made by the word. All things were made. I take all sad matter. All things are ah. All things are made. Ah, somebody that which you are desiring God to do for you, it has already been done. It has already been. It's not now that God is going to do it. He said, "All things were made." Kilo sagada. No wonder Ephesians chapter chapter one verse three makes it clear. He said, "Thanks be to God who has blessed us." The word he used is a password. He said, "Who has blessed us?" He did not say who will bless us, who is going to bless us. He said, "Who has blessed us?" Because according to John chapter one, all things were made. All things were made. They have already been made. They are not going to be made. If you think God is going to now going to craft <laughs> that your kidney that you want a a, a, a a creative miracle of, it's not now. I tell you, it's made according to the, the word of God. It's made already. If you think that dimension you want to have in your walk with God, that you keep on like as if you are fluctuating, you go upside down. If you think God is not going to do it, no, it's already made in the word. It's in the word. When you come to the act 
accurate, precise, exact understanding of it, then you begin to manifest. Uh, one thing that you have to know that in God's kingdom, knowledge is very paramount. Knowledge, knowledge is very, 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 very paramount. As a matter of fact, you can't operate and uh, in in any dimension with God without knowledge. Ignorance kills. Ignorance destroys. Ignorance is a stumbling block. Ignorance will stampede your life. Ignorance blindfold God's people. And I pray for you. From today, you grow in knowledge. Ah. Uh, so according to the scientific word and the philosophical word, they have coined a word and they said knowledge is power. I'm telling you. They said knowledge is power. Knowledge indeed is power. Knowledge indeed is power. Knowledge indeed is power. Knowledge creating you the boldness and the tenacity to talk without fear. Yes. You go to hospital, a small boy who is 20 years, 15 years, um, what do you call it, 25, 30 years, will tell you, lie down. All in the name of the fact that he's a doctor. Tell you, lie down. And you lie down. Yeah. Because you have gotten the knowledge that doctors have the capacity to heal you. Or they have the capacity to give you a medicine that will quench your disease. You believe. And the doctor will also talk with confidence. To tell you no don't take this thing don't take this thing don't take this why because that doctor has come to the fullness of knowledge in his work <laughs> i pray for you from today you walk in that great knowledge in your work with god that's what i'm talking about that when you come to a point of accurate understanding of the realities of your work with god or of the realities in christ hey 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 it's going to be extraordinary it's going to be amazing it's going to be it's going to be so glorious why because you are not just walking in ignorance jesus told the woman at the well of jacob john chapter 4 he said you know not what you worship but we we know so there is high tendency for a man to be worshiping a god whom you don't know that is the crisis of our today many are worshiping god we come we park our cars we come we come with our best suit that we can wear we come with our big bibles ah with so many kind of accolades but we know not the god we are seven so you have to come to a point whereby you don't just call yourself a new creation what Paul is trying to communicate to you and me now is that it is pertinent that you sit down to understand what it means to be a new creation how you became a new creation <laughs> ah, and, and, and what made you a new creation you have to come to a full understanding when you understand this when things are happening to you you will know how to deal with it because you know and i gave you an example the last time that if somebody come to your 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 house uh, and he said please this car is yours brings a car it's your first time he says it's a gift take it and he hand key to your hands and you don't know the operations of that car i said last week that that car will be in your house for 20 years and if you have a servant in your house who knows the operation of the car, the servant will drive your car for you. Yes. Yes. The servant is going to drive your car. Ah, does it mean that the car does not belong to you? It belongs to you. But you know not the operations of the car. So the servant will drive it for you. I pray for you whatsoever is yours that you've been begging for whatsoever is yours that you've been crying for whatsoever is yours that you need to take hold of with authority and use it that because of ignorance you have you have you have laid it somewhere and you are begging for it from today no longer will you beg for it from today no longer are you going to complain and mama no no more so Paul made it clear that these things are found in Christ. And I told you, in Christ is the word. In the word you live and move and have your being. In the word, the believer 
Ah, what did Paul say? He said, In him I live and move and have my being in Christ. That means in Christ I'm alive. In Christ I progress. My life is not backward. In Christ I progress. And the last one say, I have my being. In Christ, my identity is found. My identity is found. So all all that God will want humanity to come to is the fact that his pleasure is in Christ. God's pleasure was not in Moses. God's pleasure. <laughs> ah, and it will interest you to know that God's pleasure was not in Isaac. God's pleasure was not in A- Abraham. God's pleasure was not... No, 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 no. God's pleasure is in Christ. The only person God could open his mouth to openly say, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. From Revelation to Genesis, from Genesis to Revelation, there was no place God opened his mouth to say, This one, I'm well pleased in him. So on the Mount of Transfiguration, Bible said that Jesus was praying, and two people appeared. Elijah appeared, uh, Moses appeared, and the disciples said, Ah, Lord, can we build a tabernacle here? Can we build a, a big house here? Let's give one to you, one to you, and let's enjoy ourselves here. Jesus said, Hey, uh, Jesus, before Jesus will even open his mouth, the Father opened his mouth, said, This is my beloved son, in whom I'm well pleased. Leave your focus for Moses. Leave your focus from Elijah. Focus on my son. So it means that until you come to a point of understanding of who Christ is, what Christ came to do, the character of Christ, if you don't focus on this and you focus on any other person that is not contributing or adding to what Christ came to do, I'm telling you, you will struggle in your work with God. Yeah. You will misinterpret God, you will suspect God, you will blame God, and you will think God does not love you. Why? Because there are certain traits of God that the only place you can find it, all the traits of God, the only place you will find it is not in any other person but Christ. Yeah? But Christ. So you say, oh, um, um, Job, Job walked with God and he had two evil. And Job was not the pleasure of God. Job was not the pleasure of God. God's pleasure is in one person. From Genesis up to Revelation, nobody, and I say it with all boldness and tenacity, nobody was able to please God. That's what we are trying to say. Nobody was able to please God. So if you think you are following any other person's life outside Christ and please God, I'm telling you, it's an exercise in futility. And no matter what you do, you cannot please God in yourself. That is why I said that if any man be in Christ, all that we are talking about is that the place you should be conscious of, find yourself in, is in Christ. Never must you be confident in your effort. Never must you be confident in your ability. Never must you be confident in, in any skills you have or whatever. Be confident in your reality in Christ. That is where our power and authority is lying. Anytime we step out of that place, we have come to a place whereby we, our life has become naked for anything to step into it. From today, your hearts get flooded with the in Christ reality. Anything you do, you think about Christ. Anything you say, you think about Christ. Any place you go, you are living your life in the confinement of Christ. You live within the confinement of Christ. You live within the confinement of Christ. So Paul said this, and in that same context, from 19 up to 21, let me read it from 18 up to 21, he makes it clear. He said that if any man be in Christ from 17, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are new. Verse 18. <laughs> and all things are of God who has reconciled us unto himself and has given unto us the ministry of reconciliation. I just want to list certain things that are in Christ for you. He said, he has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Somebody hear me. <laughs> if you are a child of God, you have received Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. The first thing you receive is a ministry. It's a ministry. It's a ministry. So, 
minister, any, any person, any leader in any church, passionate for God's work. <laughs> you are so enthused and, and so zealous uh, to do God's work. Don't waste your time until you hear, my son, my son, my daughter, my daughter, because you never hear. You will never hear my son, my son. The first thing that has been handed to you is ministry. He say, all things are of God who has reconciled us and he has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. What is the ministry of reconciliation? How is it about it? Say to wait that God was in Christ, reconciling the whole world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them. And has given to us the word of reconciliation. For he has made him to be seen who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God. So when you read it, in this context, all the things that Paul is saying, they are all in the past. He said that all things are of God who has reconciled us. So somebody hearing me now, you are reconciled. If you are in Christ, you are reconciled with God. You are not in enmity with God. God does not have no 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 no. What I I don't I don't, I don't I'm not I'm not endorsing your wrong act. But no matter what you have done, if you have received Christ, God is not your enemy. God is not in enmity with you. Say that He has reconciled. He is not going to, and He is not reconciling. He has in Christ that we are reconciled with God in Christ. Not in our self-effort, not in our prayer life, not in our, our tongues, not in anything. It's found in Christ. It's found in Christ. It's found in Christ. So you are reconciled in Christ. You have a ministry in Christ. Now, when you come to the 20, he said that he has made he, he had made him to be sin for us. Who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God. So he makes it clear that now your sins are not in view in Christ. Oh, your sins and your weakness and your inabilities are not in view in Christ. What this scripture is trying to tell you is not an endorsement to your to your to your to your sinful life or weakness that you should go ahead with it. No. What this scripture is making it clear to you is that he said that behold the new things that are in Christ. That means that don't focus on your limitations. If you focus on your limitations, you will continue to walk in it. But if you focus on Christ, who is the word? I'm telling you, certain attitudes will drop off. Certain behaviors will drop off. Certain arrogance will drop off. Certain pride will drop off. Promiscuity life will drop off. Anything that you call weakness or sin will drop off. So Hebrews chapter 12 also makes it clear. Verse 2 said that looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher. But before he said that, he said, laying aside, he said that seeing that we are encompassed, verse 1, seeing that we are encompassed with such a great cloud of witness. <laughs> ah, let us lay aside the sin. He said the weight, especially the sin, which easily beset us. And let us run with patience. <laughs> let us run with patience. The rest that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. That means, until you look unto Jesus and lose focus on the sin and the weakness that easily beset you, I tell you, you can't run the race that is set before you. No, you can't. We run the race as we fix our eyes on Christ. Then he, he went ahead. He said that, looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. He lost. For the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. That means, in Christ, you see joy ahead of your life. Somebody I pray for you. Somebody that is hearing me now that your heart is overwhelmed with sadness, discomfort, inconvenience. I decree and I declare the joy of God best out of you now. The joy of God best out of your life. In the name of Jesus. So in Christ is the pleasure of God. In Christ is the authority of God. In Christ is the peace of God. As a matter of fact, in Christ 
is the signature for God. Whenever you go to any bank, in any person's name, and you go, <laughs> and you want to cash money out of the person's accounts, they will want the person's signature to be there before they can give you the money. So if the person's signature is not there, I tell you, there is no way they can give you the money. They will not give you the money. They wouldn't. Why? Because the signature is an endorsement of the fact that the owner of the money is away. <laughs> uh, the signature of God is Christ. 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 If anybody goes to bank in your name, but not with your signature attached to it, we'll call it an irregular check. Why? Because the, the check is bearing my name, but what endorses it? Hello, Shanamaha. What endorses it is not there. In Christ, is the signature of God. So many people are bearing uh, they are bearing God they are just having certain attributes of God in their lives but they are not having the signature and in case someone you are hearing me you might be have going you might have been going to church you might have been playing in church instrument you might be doing whatsoever I tell you if you have not caught the reality of God's redemption that comes through Christ you are not saved yet if you think because of your frequent time in church that makes you safe or born again, that's wrong. Salvation is in Christ. Freedom is in Christ. I'm not talking about freedom of the word. I'm not talking about peace of the word. I'm talking about salvation that comes from God. It's in Christ. It comes from Christ. And as I before we go on break, I just want you to know that in Christ, is the signature of God. Paul using that word, if any man be in Christ, it's not a cliche. It's not a figurative speech. <laughs> He's not trying to just use something to It's not enticing words. He's telling you something that you ought to take proper acknowledgement of. How do you see yourself? How do you assess yourself? Before we come, we go and come back begin to think about this do i really understand my work with god how has my work with god been how effective am i in my work with god huh. what does it mean to be in christ am i being effective is my faith being effective as it ought to be ask yourself this question before we come back we're going to go into a certain level with you then we pray for whoever needs to be prayed for and we will call it a day. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. Share with somebody. Keep sharing with somebody. You are watching Riches of Grace live broadcast from the stream house. I told you last week, the biggest stream house you can ever find in Kumasi. Biggest and only stream house. Only stream house you can find in Kumasi. That is in Bokrom, um, uh, Sepe Bokrom. If you are going to um 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 Bokrum, you pass through a Sokore Mampon area. You are heading to Bokrum, it's a you will see it a big house, and it's a, a big avenue for anybody, anybody who want to be part and parcel and use their information. I just want you to just relax and think about the things I've just told you. We'll be back and we'll come back in a grand star. You are blessed. Enjoy grace.
right back we have come back and and please keep on sharing keep on sharing we want to just wrap it up with few things then we will we will, we will call it a day just share with somebody and tell a friend to also share with someone and stick with us within 12 minutes 15 minutes we are done with you so what we're talking about you have to uh, grasp a full understanding of your work with God today people do not even go to church with that understanding many people go to church with the perception that of what they want to get maybe someone is going to church because of the classicness of the place i'm not doubting that it's very nice if you have a church that is classic and beautiful i tell you i'm a man of excellence and i aspire to do that but if you are going to church with that motive i'm telling you you can't get the benefit of the church if you are going to church because you want to get married that means that if you had married you wouldn't have gone to the church that means your focus in the church is a different thing the early apostles perception and understanding of gathering as saints was different paul could teach and teach and teach and teach. somebody will fall from the from the from the 
from the ceiling, Eutychus, and he will die. And he will go and wake him up. You wake him up. After waking him up, you will still continue his teaching. Why? Because the focus was Christ and Christ alone. I urge you that let this year, let it be your the, the, the greatest of your aspiration and your desire. I know you have so many. But in case you wrote so many things without adding this valuable thing to it, that your work with God this year must be better. Please go back again. In our adage, they say Sankofa Yenchi, meaning that if you forgot something and you go back for it, it's not prohibited. You might have forgotten when you were writing them down. Please write it again. And I'm telling you, the bedrock of all the things that you wrote is that huh, the essence of your life is all found in Christ as a child of God. If it's not in a proper state, I'm telling you, any other thing is meaningless. Nobody may tell you this thing openly, but it's meaningless. Next week, I tell you, there will be something that we're going to be unveiled to you, which will be a serious, a serious invasion of any ignorance possibly you might ever ever had and also be a strong a strong a strong a strong reinforcement with your work with god if you're already in the understanding but all that we are trying to say is that the believer today has to understand his faith there are many religious organizations <laughs> but everybody boasts of his own. Most of the times you meet a believer and you ask him, are you saved? It's hard for him to even define his faith. Please, this year, dare to know God. Dare to understand God. Dare to manifest God. Dare to talk about God in boldness and in tenacity. And I tell you, as you make this your heart desire and your aspiration, your your other desire will never be cut off. Very soon, we'll be leaving your way, but be ready. You can make calls. You can call us direct video calls. If you want us to, if you want us to pray for you, call us. 0243 042 042-042-042-042. 0043 and 020 080 080 080 080 080 080 080 080 080 Seven seven six seven two four five six. You can call us. You can call us to to just share your experience. You can call us and also share your comment as you call us. If you are watching, share your comment. You can also call us specifically for us to pray for you. Maybe there's something you are battling with. Maybe the confrontation is not is not is not is not a, a sin everybody goes through it maybe you are having certain challenges maybe you are having certain difficulties call direct we pray for you whether on whatsapp video whether on whatever medium that you're going to call we're going to respond to you now and pray for you if there's any prayer request you want to also give to us consistently at the at the at the assembly where we belong every time prayer is going on for believers whether excuse me whether you belong to us or you don't belong to us consistently prayer is going on for us so long as the key and the note on which we do that is the fact that you are born again and you have received christ and you need god's grace more more to abound and whenever we hear that is our excitement and our zeal to pray for you we're waiting for your call now call us call us call us call us call us and let me pray for you as we pray in general to close. 
Shadi de 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 bo shala bra ba da 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 bo sha ela ko sha ba da 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 bo sha eza zo za ba la ke da bo shandi bro sha ba da 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 bo sha ba da 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 bra sha ba ali bo sha ba da 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 ala ba da 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 bo sha ba da ali bo sha. I just want to read some comments. Over here, my brother Philip. Hey Phil, shall I bless your heart, bro? Philip. Philip is saying, I have a ministry. I tell you, bro, you have a ministry as a saved man. This Sam, wow, this Sam, bless you, minister. You have reconciliation. Yes, you have reconciliation. Say, I have reconciliation. Philip, bless you, Queen. Bless you, bro. Say, Amen. Philip also saying, I am reconciled with God. Hallelujah. Yes, indeed, in Christ, we are reconciled with God. Kofi Atta. Gamina, Jamina, Emmanuel. He says, the day is made better by the word. God bless you, man of God. Bless you too. Bless you too. My brother Atta, bless you. Bless you. Wow, woman of God. Serena Joy, Afuakwa. Also, says focus on jesus i love that i love that our focus is jesus in him and in him alone in him and in him alone my sister jenna general also say all right i have a video call. hello hello oh, yeah. Yeah. hello man of god hello bless your heart my sister yeah my name is Amake. I'm calling from Tech. Bless you, Sister Amma. Please. Um, God hope... bless you, man of God. The message has really inspired me. Wow. This morning, I was not myself. Wow. This morning, I was worried about some things. And after listening to your message, I'm okay now. Wow. God bless you. Wow. Wow. Let's wow. yes, go. And I like your name, the psalmist. Wow. I like your name. Wow. wow. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bless you. We pray the impact stays with you now and forevermore in the name of jesus all right so i keep on with 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 the comment with the comment Another call, another call, another video call. Hello? Hello? Bless my heart, my brother. How are you? I believe you have been blessed by the administration. I, I, can't, I can't really hear you. I can't really hear you clear. Hello? Hello? Who's your name? Your name? My name is IK. I'm, I'm calling. I'm calling from Dishemso. My name is. I'm calling from Dishemso. Bless your heart, Hi, How are you? I believe you have been blessed by the ministration. Ah. Uh, uh, so blessed. Your word, your, your word was so amazing. I, I, I love it, sir. You, you bless me. Bless, in fact, you bless me a lot, sir. Wow. Wow. Yeah. We pray the blessing keeps staying with you now and forevermore. Let's keep focusing on Jesus. Yeah. Bless your heart. You are, you are a blessing to me, sir. I love you, sir. Bless your heart. You See, can also keep on, keep on, keep on with your words, sir. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. You can also drop your comment or any prayer request, or you can, you can, you can, you can let us know whatever thing you think. If we do for you, it will help you in your walk with God. Tell somebody to also call and receive a prayer a prophetic prayer and a blessing this is the direct prayer now this may not be beside or after if you want a now prayer you can call and we pray for you
Alla Padusha Patia, Santa Prosta, Apprendi Se, Apprendi Kofana, Shabala Kadabra Kavada, Shabalo Shabala, Shabala 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 all right whilst we wait for somebody to call and pray for you you can locate us hello Hello, please speak a bit louder. But I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm All right, bless you, sir. Bless you, sir. I believe the program has been a blessing to you, sir. Yes, please. Wow. Wow. Can you share your experience with the word? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello. You can share your experience with the word in a few minutes and probably a prayer request. We pray for you now. Okay. All right, possibly you might not be hearing me. Let me pray for you. Father Lord. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Father Lord, I pray for your son. Whatsoever be the, the heart desire for the year, I decree that his passion for you is going to abound. His love for you is going to abound. A call just came through. Let me pick it up. Hello. Hello. Uh, good afternoon, man of God. Good afternoon. Please, a louder, louder, a bit louder. My name is Ike. I'm calling from Bishamso. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Yeah, man of God, I was so blessed by your word this afternoon. In fact, it was very, very powerful. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I want to tell you to keep on with your word. And, wow. And wow. We thank God. 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 Yeah. Bless you. Bless you. And Let me pray for you. Father Lord, I pray for your son. Thank you for your grace, your mercy, your kindness over him. I decree and I declare this year he knows you like never before in the name of jesus his walk with you grows like never before in the name of jesus his faith communicates effectively like never before in the name of jesus you are blessed my brother ike all right, let me read a comment. Say, Serena Joy Afuakwa says, This word will always supersede prosperity, prophecy, and any other preaching or teaching. Wow. This word will always supersede prosperity, prophecy, and any other preaching or teaching. Our identity in Christ Jesus is knowledge that will take us from here to glory hallelujah glory 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 wow our identity in christ our identity in christ is a knowledge that will that will take us from glory here from here to glory our brother les is les is son of the prophet unia is watching bless you bro Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. You can call. You can United call. States plus one five one. I think I have another call. Nine zero two three four five six. You have another call. Hello. Hello. Hello? Hello. 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 Yes. Bless your heart. Hello. Hello. Bless your heart. Please, your name. Bless you, man of God. 
Um, this is Serena Foucault. I'm just calling you from here in America, watching you on the way home from work. And this word truly blessed my soul on today. Wow. 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 Truly blessed me. I, I want to jump out of the car and, and just give God the praise. I like couldn't contain seriously. myself. Wow. Like seriously. Wow. And you know, is this I was saying I was making comments that this is what the word that is needed. You know, the prosperity preaching and, and the the prophecies and all of this seeking of prophecy and all of the you know, I believe if we stay in God's face and see Jesus mm. and see ourselves in Jesus. Mm. You you hit it right on the head on the uh, the nail on the head because this is what's needed for our transformation and for our uh, in our our growth in the Lord and and I, I just love I just love I wanted to say this in an all hang up but wow. I love how I love how when you say when we focus on Jesus we lose sight of our, of ourselves mm. and our lack and that's so us. important because the enemy will beat us up and say oh you know you're not this you're not Don't this qualify. and mm. and we should say we are this because we are this in christ yes everything that christ is is who we are glory. and glory. i believe that's so 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 paramount and i oh that just blessed my wow. soul God of God. You just, bless you, just, you so you much just, just give a powerful word to somebody bless your heart bless your heart God. Yeah, wow. so continue in prayer for me wow. as well as we'll be praying wow. for you. We are praying for you, you too, as you keep praying for us. Bless you. What's up, audio? Bye -bye. Amen. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Hello. Hello. Yeah, good afternoon, man of God. Good afternoon, sir. Please, your name and where yeah. you're calling from. Yeah, my name is Ima, calling from Sepe. Bless your heart. Sepe, calling from Sepe. Bless your heart, brother Emmanuel. I believe you have been blessed by the broadcast. I'm very, very much blessed with the word this, this afternoon. Wow. The pleasure of God in Christ. I'm very, very, very much blessed with your word. Mm. And I want to say God really bless you for this word that you have been blessing us every Wednesday. Amen. And continue in the good work. May God strengthen you much more to also Amen. give us more revelation in the word of God. Amen. And I, my, my prayer is that you pray for us for also to get much more understanding in the word of God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Pray for you, Father Lord. I pray for your son. Thank you. The word says that the desire of the righteous shall not be cut off. Paul prayed according to Ephesians chapter one verse fifteen. Say that that God of our fa the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, God of glory, will grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation, that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. I pray for you, as your desire is to receive enlightenment like never before within the year. May that desire come to pass in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you become more effective in your work with God. Your faith talks more than your words. And it in the talks name of Jesus. In and everything you do in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Thanks God bless you. God. Thank you. Bless. All right, I just want to, any man of God, you may be a minister, you may be um, a song minister, you may be a pastor uh, who is looking for an opportunity to pass out the word to someone. I tell you, this word need the word, and the survivor of this word is embedded in the word of god outside the word the word cannot be free and this there's a, a big opportunity for you right from the place i'm i'm broadcasting to your life it's a big stream house in kumasi that you can come present your program and however you want to do there's time that the management will sit you down have time with you and talk to you concerning your program and see how they can give you that opportunity and that platform to be a blessing to someone i tell you don't sit down there's a number on the screen you can call call that number and book appointment or if you know me personally you can call me those my friends that know me personally you have my number you can call me i can bring you here 
this is not something that is for me alone. It's something that is for the whole world to be a blessing to the world with the gift of God in us. We can't stay home. We can't be quiet for certain things that we want we don't want to see to drive around. If we want certain change in Christianity, we need to take advantage of every platform God has given to us. Not to brag, not to boast, not to criticize, but to talk about the word, what we want to see. So please, it's a big opportunity for you and I. Join us at Stream House. Take the number, call and come and plan a special program. That will be a blessing to humanity, especially Ghanaians. You are blessed. But on the note of conclusion, I just want you to know if you want to find us where we are, Riches of Grace Assembly. The live broadcast you just said came from Riches of Grace Assembly, Word and Worship Center. We are at DHM, so adjacent Diamond Hotel. We share one wall with Diamond Hotel. Our services are, 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 are projected on the screen. And Wednesday, it's a prognosis service from eight, from six to eight. We are done. From also um, eight to ten. Every Sunday, we are done. Eight a.m. to ten a.m. Sunday sharp. The prognosis where we are done. And every Friday, is just one hour prayer. Prayer one hour solidly. No prayer point we come and we release one prayer prayer we are done and that is it please in case you are also far from us and you are looking for a place to go and serve and enjoy your work with god there are so many churches around that you can go to there's a church even if you are staying at a swasi wherever there's a church at uh, abu abu Jansi, winnie house is a good church you can go there and You'll be blessed. I tell you, this year is not a year you have to play with your work with God. Because God has much embedded for us. You are blessed. And next week, share with a friend, same time, 12 to 1, the afternoon. I'm going to come your way again. Pray for us as we pray for you. Support us. Join us any way you can. The Lord bless you. In Christ alone.